reception, time for topic. Today we're going to be learning about going on a safari and it might be something to do with animals like this. Because I know you've been learning lots about animals this week, Mrs Lackler, for your new topic, haven't you? Now, I wonder, has anyone heard the word safari before or think they might know what it is? So a safari is when you go on a journey looking for animals in the wild. So that means you go and look for animals where they live. And you can go on a walking safari. You could go on a river safari by getting in a boat and seeing what animals live in the water or looking at the land and seeing what animals you can see. Or lots of people and most people go by car, they go in a big jeep so they can look out and see what the animals. Lots of people go on safaris in a place called Africa. Africa is a really, really big place with lots of countries in and they're really hot. So we're thinking today about animals that live in Africa that you might see in a safari. So some of them like this, giraffe, A rhino, that's the short name, or it's long name, rhinoceros, or a hippo, or we call a hippopotamus. And the word safari is an African word, and it, it, it's a Swahili word, and it means journey. So it's all about going on a journey. Now, I've got some photos here of different African animals that you might see. I'm going to show you a picture. And if you know the name of the animal, I want you to say it with me. Are you ready? You might see... <gasps> Snakes, you know, warthogs, like Pumba in the Lion King. He's a warthog. You might see zebra. We said this one, eh? What is it? Rhino. Oh, it's a really big bird. This one. It's called an ostrich. Give you a clue this next one. <laughs> it's a monkey. Another animal that begins with a mmm. The mmm. I like these. I think they look cute. It's a meerkat. Can you say that? Meerkat. <gasps> this one's a baby animal and it's a lion cub. So the babies are called cubs, baby lion, and then this, this is a male lion, so a boy lion, he's got a big, big mane, you can see it looks like his hair all around his face, it's a lion's mane, this one's a tall animal, can you guess what it is, it's a giraffe, so giraffes live in Africa, this one's a bit snappy, got sharp teeth it's a crocodile this one's very very fast it's a ch -ch -ch cheetah can you see and it's got spots it's got a spotty pattern on its fur and we've looked at these ones hippopotamus and elephant now we're going to read a story now about going on a hunt for animals okay and it's called we're going on a lion hunt and the author, the person who writes the book, is called David Axtell. And it sounds a little bit like a book that I bet you already know. But this one's about a lion. We're going on a lion hunt. We're going to catch a big one. We're not scared. Been there before. See the little girls? And they live in Africa. Going to hunt for lions. We're going on a lion hunt. We're going to catch a big one. We're not scared. Been there before. Oh no, long grass. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go around it. Have to go through it. Swish, swash, swish, swash, swish, swash. Look at that long grass. It's taller than them. 
We're going on a lion hunt. We're going to catch a big one. We're not scared. Been there before. Oh no, a lake. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go around it. Have to go through it. You ready to go through the lake? Splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash, splash. Ooh, in that freezing cold water. We're going on a lion hunt. We're going to catch a big one. We're not scared. Been there before. Oh no, a swamp. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go around it. Have to go through it. Well done if you're joining in with the words. The same words repeated, isn't it? Again and again. Ready through that sticky, squelchy swamp. Squish, squelch, squish, squelch. Oh, it's so sticky and oozy. Oh no, she looks like she's stuck. Pull. Oh, phew. She's got out. We're going on a lion hunt. We're going to catch a big one. We're not scared. Been there before. Oh no. A big dark cave. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go around it. Have to go. But what's that? One shiny wet nose, one big shaggy mane, four big furry paws. <gasps> it's a lion! <gasps> Quick, back through the cave. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Back through the swamp. Squish, squelch, squish, squelch, squish. Quick, 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 quick. <gasps> the lion is chasing. Can you see? <gasps> There's an elephant. Back through the lake. Splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash. <gasps> Quick! Back through the long grass. Swish, wash, swish, wash, swish, wash. <gasps> and there's other animals too. The giraffe. Quick, run, 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 run. All the way home. Slam the door. Squish! <gasps> oh, phew. We're all tired now. Tired and sleepy. Better catch a lion tomorrow instead. <gasps> oh, they're all tucked up in bed. Ready to go to sleep. I like that story. It's just like we're going on a bear hunt, isn't it? But this time they were looking for a lion. Now, because we're thinking about safaris, I've also got a song to teach you. Now, you might recognize the tune wonder if you know the song. I'm a little teapot, sure, and stout. It's not those words, it's different words, but to the same tune. Okay, it's called going on safari. We're going to pretend to be walking on our safari, okay? Going on safari, looking about. So we're looking around for animals. If you see animals, give us a shout. When we're on safari, let's look out. There are animals all about. Right, let's sing it one more time together and see if you can join in and copy me. Also, with this video, I will write the words to the song under the video so that you can practice it with your grown-up. Maybe doing the actions, or you could come up with your own actions. Maybe they, could, maybe they could do a video of you doing it. I'd love to see you singing and doing the actions. Okay, ready to walk on our safari? Going on safari, looking about. If you see the animals, give us a shout. When we're on safari, let's look. That means look. Let's look out. There are animals all about. Now, 
for your learning at home today, what I would like you to do is go on a pretend safari in your house. So I want you to imagine in your head, think that you're on safari seeing those animals in Africa. Maybe you've got some cuddly toy animals, some teddies animals that you could see on your safari. Or you might have some animals like this or some Duplo animals. If you haven't got any animals, I wonder if you could draw me a picture of some animals you could see on safari. But when you go on safari so that you can look really carefully, you need binoculars. Okay, so I want you to have a go at making your own binoculars. Shall I show you mine? Now, I made these out of um, a tube, an old tube of wrapping paper. Maybe if you've got some paper, you could roll it up and make binoculars. Or if you've got a kitchen roll or a toilet roll or wrapping paper, you could cut it. Your grown-up will help you to cut it and make tubes that you can look through to be like binoculars. And maybe you could decorate them. I decorated them to look like an animal. Can you think which animal from Africa that we see in safari? And it was in this book, wasn't the lion, but we did see it, that this is yellow with brown spots. It's a giraffe. If you said giraffe, give yourself a big pack on the back on the back. So have fun, enjoy going on safari and spotting animals around your house. And I would love to see your photos of your safari and what animals you find with your special binoculars. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.